Docking request approved. Proceed to landing bay free. Welcome home, Commander. Eris recognized the voice. It brought back a little bit of a nostalgic feeling. Seema, located on the bottom cockpit, has been watching his every move and judging even the manner in which he communicated. With this in mind, formal would be the most astute approach. Lake on Echo Romeo Oscar on approach to landing pad number three. A minute or so later, the ASP carefully touched down, the engine cycled to standby, and the magnetic clamps engaged, firmly attaching it to Hutton Orbital as though it was a single piece of metal. Behind him, Eros heard Seema climb the ladder. He disengaged his flight seat and set his mag boots on the deck. The good news is that you will be reinstated. The bad news for both of us is that you are ready to go, and I, thanks to either poor career choice or judgment, will be your assigned pilot. An assistant. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I doubt that. Sorry is an overused expression. I think it went out of use some three thousand years ago, maybe even earlier. For what it's worth, I am sorry that you have to come with me. To be honest, I'd certainly like the company, but never if it, if it's against somebody's will. I mean, both of us might as well be in the brick. Well, I don't really have anything holding me back, so all I ask is that we live by a few rules she said, holding her up, self upright with a ladder. One, I'm off limits. I used to be a slave, and no, I'm not an, an imperial. Which brings me cleanly to my second rule. I'm not your servant or slave. <laughs> I do not pick up your shit or clean your clothes. We will be independent unless mutually beneficial agreements come around. Three, I do not need small talk or chit chat to survive. Sorry if you do but I don't. If I don't look like I want to talk, I probably don't. So, number four, stick time will be split 50-50. And I guess the last rule would be, if we fight, we must agree to solve our any issue within 24 hours. No bullshit grudges. Well, those are respectable, and you read my file most likely, so you'll know that I'm an Imperial. For the record, I don't feel comfortable about our culture's way of selling dishonor into slavery. I've survived on food capsules so long that my cooking will be somewhat minimal. I'll certainly offer you food or drink whenever I am taking some. Call it a habit. So let's make this as painless for both of us as possible. May I ask a question? Sure. Are you interested in science at all? No. You're outside. This could be more difficult than we first thought. All right. Well, maybe a little. Okay. Then I will keep my theoretical ramblings away from you. But if you do find me talking to myself, it's normal. I will just inform you of any experiments I'm going to perform. Uh, speaking of which, when do we get my lab on board? You see that box over there? Seema pointed out of the cockpit. Eros followed the line of her arm and saw a cargo container being moved onto the ship. Well, I guess that's that then. Uh, I just have one request. You want all the Mega Jin the Orbital will let you carry. Well, actually it was something else, but now that you remind me, let's make it two requests. Uh, let's call the Jin my request, so what's yours? Please don't, don't call me Doctor. Only arrogant assholes demand their academic titles be used on a daily basis. Eros or Maidlung is fine. Hell, even just Oi is okay. Surprising. I always thought you academics loved the honorifics. So, for your research, we need to visit Farseer to get that second drive installed, by the way. Farseer? Oh, um, well, can we not go to see Alvara? Uh, it's Farseer or the Professor. Farseer has already been briefed, so the cooperative would rather we see her. Okay, Farseer it is, he sighed. Problems? Well, I may have suggested that Palin and Farseer don't know anything about frameshift drives while drunk at a conference. Felicity was equally drunk. It was uh, the banquet, you know, and she loves to drink. My gosh, she can hold her own. She laughed it off and came back at me about my lack of business sense and some snipe about me having mods. It was all good fun, but I'm a little bit embarrassed that I actually tried to hit on her later. Needless to say, she laughed that off too. Palin? Uh, Palin doesn't drink. He responded by giving me a dressing down in the morning session afterwards in front of the whole community, suggesting I don't have a legitimate doctorate. Even among the more relaxed of us academics, that's just out of order. 
I may or may not have stood up and called him a thyroid living moron, and he may have thrown a glass of water at me. One thing led to another, and I got jumped on by security. Kids, a lot of you seem a tutted. 